Hi, this is Dave from ClearPath Robotics. Today we're going to go through the general architecture of ROS and how different nodes communicate with each other. And we're also going to talk about troubleshooting any sort of networking issues you're having with message passing inside of ROS. Before you do this, make sure your robot is set up. So check out our setup videos for Jackal, Husky, any of our other robots. That information will be down in the description. So on my computer here, I'm already set up and talking to this robot. The robot's IP is currently 192.168. .1.11. So, just to make sure that I'm actually able to talk to the robot, I can do ping 192.168.1.11, and I'm getting responses back. So, that means that my computer is networked to the robot, and they can communicate back and forth. ROS is set up um, as a publisher-subscriber framework, and it uses a ROS master to coordinate all of it. What happens when you make a request, you say ROS topic pub or ROS topic uh, sub, like subscribe to a topic, what happens first is your computer asks the master, where are all the nodes that are publishing this information? The master will reply and say, this is where all the nodes are. The master just kind of keeps track of it. Think of it like a fancy phone book. Then your computer, now that it has a listing of all of the nodes that are publishing that information, your node will now individually go and make connections directly to each one. That is where you can have some networking issues. So we'll, we'll go through and look at those. If I do export ROS master URI equals 192.168.1.11, port 11311. This is just setting up the master. You can get more information about how to set up the networking and do your initial setup of your robot uh, from a video that we'll post down in the description. If I do ROS topic list, I can see all the ROS topics that are running on this robot, which is good. But if I were to do ROS topic echo, which will print all of the information that's available on that topic, and do Jackal Velocity Controller ODOM, I'm not getting any information here. If I just open up another terminal, oops, and I SSH into the robot, if I do the same thing, ROS topic, echo, Jackal Velocity Controller ODOM, all of a sudden I'm getting a bunch of information printing out here. Right? You can see all the timestamps moving up, the sequence number moving up. So I'm getting information printing. There is information on that topic, but my laptop can't get it. So to figure out why that is, you can do on your laptop, or anywhere really, you do ROS topic info, and then you type in the topic name you want. And what this will do is it will ask the master, which is running on the robot, it will ask the master information about this topic and it will give you the, top, the message type that's there. It will also tell you who is publishing and subscribing to this topic and where, where those nodes live so that your node can talk to them. And if we look here, you can see that the publisher so the node that's actually publishing this information is currently at CPR-J100-0315, which is the serial number of the robot in this case. If I do ping uh, CPR-J100-0315, my computer says unknown host. So what's happening here is my computer can talk to the master. The master says, find it in this robot with this host name. When my computer goes to talk to that host name, it has no idea where it is. And that's because in this case, I'm just using an ethernet cable. So we don't have a DNS server for my computer to ask where any computers are on the network. I have to tell it explicitly. A, a simple way around this is just get a router or get a network that does DNS. But you don't always have that option. So what you can do inside your computer, you can do um, sudo nano etsy hosts. Right? 
type in your password. This is essentially a, a local DNS server. So you're saying, if I'm asking for this host name, this is the address you have to use. Right? If you try to ping google.com, you say, you know, you, in your browser, you type google.com. What happens is your computer asks the DNS server where google.com is. The DNS server replies, well, google.com is at this address. Then your computer talks to it through that address. Since we don't have a DNS server, we're kind of hard coding it here for now. So if I do 192.168.1.11, hit tab, and type in the Jackal's host name, which is CPR J100 0315. So paste that there. Control X to quit, Y to save, enter. Now, if I ping this host name again, all of a sudden I'm getting responses because my computer now knows that this host name is attached to this IP address. So now, if I do Ross Topic Echo, all of a sudden I'm getting information back, which means that Ross going one way is working. My computer can find the jackal, and that's good, um, but it's not the entire story, right? What if I need information to go the other way? I need to send information to the jackal. The jackal needs to know where my computer is. So if I log into the jackal, which I'm currently SSH'd into here, if I do on my computer, for example, Ross Topic Pub, um, I don't know, I'll just make a, um, a topic called Chatter. I'll make it a standard messages string. And I will just put hello and publish it over and over again at a rate of 10 hertz okay. on my local computer. If I do um, export ROS master URI equals HTTP colon slash slash. I can put in the host name of the robot now. 11311. If I do Ross topic list, I can see if I scroll up, there is a topic called chatter. Right? Ross topic info chatter. Right? I can see it's being published from my computer. That's my current host name. Ross topic echo chatter. Right, my computer can talk to itself. If it can't, that's a problem you should track down. Um, but I can see the information that's coming out of this topic. But if I do the same thing on the robot, Ross topic, echo, chatter, no information. Again, the robot doesn't know where CPR 01635 is. So we have to do the exact same thing on the robot side. So if I do the same thing, sudo nano etsy hosts, um, the username is administrator and clear path all lowercase, like all of our robots. You can see I need to add my IP address. So my computer's IP address is ifconfig, and here it is 192.168.199. CPR 01635. Now that works. That's using host names. You can, instead of using host names on either one, you can export the robot variable ROS underscore IP. And that means that anytime it sets up a node, it will address it by the IP address, not by the host name, which kind of skirts around this. Um, in this case, I'm using static addresses, which means that this should work indefinitely. If you're using um, a router that's giving out DHCP addresses, there's a chance your addresses might change um, each time you start your computer, which means that this will break um, or could break over time. In that case, try to use a static address if you can. Try to use static DNS or a DHCP if you can. Um, we'll kind of avoid the issue. Um, this. This kind of information here should help you track down any kind of networking problems that exist um, in your raw setup. 
Um, the, I'll put a, a link in the description below for other Ross Wiki articles that give maybe a little bit more information or a, a broader scope. Um, but this should help you track down the majority of issues that you're having in your Ross network.